Using 5W30 oil in an engine that is recommended to use 0W20 is a more common issue than you might think. In essence, the viscosity, or thickness of the oil, indicated by these numbers, is not what the manufacturer has determined to be most efficient for your engine's operation. The first number, 0W or 5W, represents the oil's flow at cold temperatures, meaning 5W30 oil is thicker at cold temperatures than the recommended 0W20. The second number, 20 or 30, indicates the oil's viscosity at engine operating temperature, so 5W30 remains thicker under these conditions as well. From my cozy garage here in Portland, Oregon, where the weather swings can be as unpredictable as a flip of a coin, the wrong oil viscosity can lead to several issues. On cold starts, thicker oil, like 5W30, might not flow as swiftly through the engine as a thinner oil, like 0W20 would. This can lead to increased wear on engine components due to inadequate lubrication until the oil warms up and flows more freely. On the flip side, at operating temperatures, if the oil is too thick, it might not allow for the efficient operation of the engine's moving parts. It can also increase the engine's work, leading to higher fuel consumption and reduced performance. Moreover, in engines designed specifically for low-viscosity oils, like 0W20, using a thicker oil can affect the precision operation of variable valve timing systems, potentially leading to reduced efficiency and performance. In a city like Portland, where the difference between a summer drive to the Columbia River Gorge and a winter commute can stress different aspects of your car's engine, sticking to the manufacturer's recommended oil specification is crucial. Of course, an occasional or accidental use of 5W30 instead of 0W20 is unlikely to cause immediate catastrophic damage, but consistently using the incorrect viscosity can lead to increased engine wear, reduced efficiency, and potentially costly repairs down the line. So, always check your vehicle's manual. The engineers who designed your engine did extensive testing to determine the best oil for it. Especially here, where adaptability is key, it's best to stick with their recommendation for the smoothest rides through the Tualatin Valley or over Mount Hood, ensuring your engine remains in top condition.